Hey guys, Chris here from Krua. We wanted to do a quick unboxing for the new Koala. It's on the way to you guys. We're excited about it. So we want to do a quick unboxing. Later we're going to take it outside. We're going to set it up and show you how it all works. Um, but we're very excited for you guys to get it. Um, the Koala V1 was a great product. We got some, some great responses from customers who absolutely love the product. But Koala 2 is something special altogether, and we are very excited to get it into your hands, to really see the product in action, to see what you guys can, can give to us as far as pictures of adventures of it around the world. We think it's a great product, and we can't wait to get it into your hands. Um, I'm going to do just a quick unboxing here. Um, I've got two different products for us to look at. We've got the Koala Max in the basic kit. So it's a kind of an odd box, and the reason it's an odd box is because unlike the V1, this koala has a separate bug mesh. So you've got your, all your literature that comes in. You've got your bug mesh here. You've got your koala. And then you've got your brochure and your instructions here. Um, I'll go through more detail on the next one because I'll show you the full kit as well. Um, I know the black bags look kind of strange, um, but we did this for a reason. Um, number one, some of these items we might have to ship out to people individually and we can ship them this way. Um, but we also chose to go with these bags where we could because they're resealable. So for you guys, if you want to use this when you're out camping, if you want to use it as kind of a pseudo dry bag or if you want to put food and stuff in here, it's a great way to, to keep using the bags over and over again. We know plastic is damaging. We don't like to use single use plastic where possible. So we're trying to come up with some creative options for you and give you something that you can use while you're out camping. So hence the, the new black bags. Put these off to the side and we'll take a look at the full kit. Now with the full kit, we have the Krua new deluxe quilt. And then we've got our actual hammock itself. We've got the deluxe tarp. We've got our bug mesh again. And last, we've got our gear hammock. And of course, you have your brochures and everything that come through as well. So we'll start with the quilt itself. Uh, it's self-contained inside. It won't take everything out. Um, beautiful new material. We used all new materials on this. Premium. We upgraded all the materials. The last quilt was great, but we wanted to take it to the next level. Um, so you'll, you'll really notice the feel and touch as soon as you get it. It's, it's a premium product. Um, extra guy lines and everything you need inside for connecting it as an, as an under quilt are all inside. Um, pretty handy self-contained unit. It's even got a little uh, handle on the bottom for however you want to carry it. So great product there. We've got the tarp, the deluxe tarp, again in these reusable bags. Tarp has its own little carry bag inside. Again, I won't go through all of it, um, but inside you're going to actually have the tarp itself. Um, great. This time we've added a reflective layer inside as well. So you can flip that reflection on the outside to bounce the sun off and, and keep it cool underneath. Put the reflective side inside and that way you can reflect some of your own heat back to you and keep you warmer when you're out uh, hammocking. Inside there's also stakes, there's extra guy lines, um, everything you need all inside the one bag there. We'll take a look at the gear hammock next. It's a nice handy little package. Comes in its own little, uh, own little carry bag as well that's attached. So similar to the Koala, it's attached so you won't lose this little bag. Um, again, you've got your guy line to tie it up to the, uh, either the tree strap or the carabiners, um, however you see fit to, to hook that up. Um, but that's a nice handy little package. And then last but not least, oh, sorry, we have the bug mesh first. So the bug mesh, again, comes in its own package. You can cinch strap here if you want to make it a little bit smaller. Um, we've labeled most of the items for you as well, especially when it comes to the koalas is super handy. For those of you that bought one deluxe maybe, or one max and one regular, then there's, you can tell the difference between the two. Um, but the bug mesh there. And then for the koala itself, there you go, koala. The other one says koala max on it. Um, again, it's attached, so you don't have to worry about losing this bag. Um, great thing about this bag, we've even upgraded the bags. We've added the, the carabiner and a strap right to the bag. So you can carry it this way, you can hook it to your backpack this way, but this also is the piece that hooks directly into the tree strap and then the rest of it pulls out from the other side. And we'll show you that in more detail. 
when we, uh, when we set it up in a few minutes outside. But inside of this guy, you're gonna have your tree straps. You're gonna have all the bits and pieces that you need. Your poles are in here. Any extra guy lines and any other things that you need are all inside the self-contained bag. So it's a nice compact system. Um, whether you got the basic or the full kit, everything is there, everything's labeled and everything's in its own bags. So you can carry them kind of together or you can carry them individually, take whatever pieces you need on whatever adventure you're going on. So that's it for this piece. We're gonna take it outside, we'll set it up, we'll go through a detailed setup and we'll show you how it all works. All right, so here we go. We've got the koala. We're gonna start setting it up for you. Obviously the first thing you wanna do is find some trees. Suitably spaced trees would be about four and a half meters apart or about 15 feet. Um, but you have a little bit of give there because you've got adjustable tree straps. So there's plenty of adjustment points on these tree straps to make sure that you find the right tree. Once you've identified your trees, just put your tree strap up. Now these are great tree straps. Um, they're capable of a weight capacity of 500 pounds each. So there should be no problems here. As you'll notice with your tree strap, you have one side that has several loops all the way through it. And the other side has just one loop on the end. Um, easiest way to do it is to take that one loop side, wrap it around the tree, and then pull the other section that has the individual sizes through that. That way you can clip all the way along here as you need based on your adjustability. Um, as far as where on the tree to put it, um, you should probably put it about four and a half or so feet. Again, you'll want to play around with this based on how tall you are and, and how much space that you want to have off the ground. Um, I'm 5'10 on a good day, so uh, I generally like to put this around my my shoulder height maybe a little bit higher uh, and that's what generally works for me. All right now I've taken everything extra out of the bag already so the poles are out the extra stakes and guy lines everything's out so now all you need to do is to take your carabiner clip it to your tree strap and then find the other side which seems to be my my favorite part of the new koala and just pull it out. Once you have your koala set up you just take your Buno bars and inch, there's two tabs on either side. You'll notice that there's an eyelet. You just put one into one side and put the spreader bar into the other side. And that just helps give you a little bit more room inside the hammock. Um, we also have included, there's tabs here and tabs here. And we've given you in your package extra guy lines and stakes so that if you want to, you can actually stake out the, the hammock on all these different sections. Um, and that will give you a really nice spread to give you a lot of extra room inside the tent. Or it'll stop the rocking. Because some people do like to lay in the hammock but don't necessarily like the rocking. But those are optional, you don't need to use those. Um, you can take them out all together and have a nice tight cocoon lay if that's what you prefer. One of the best things about the first version of the Koala, which we've replicated here, are all the pockets. But we've upgraded the pockets. So this way we've given you the option to move or remove all the pockets to your liking. You can put them in the front, you can put them in the back, you can put them at the top. There's Velcro all the way down the sides. It's a nice, tough, but soft Velcro. Um, so we've made sure that, that it'll hold all your gear. If there's heavy stuff on there, it's gonna hold really well. Your beer koozie, all the normal pockets that you would get, all here and now catered to what you need them for or don't need them at all. Um, we've also included as a new feature, this ridge line and a new ridge line organizer. So that way when you're inside your hammock, you have some place to keep your phone, or you can hang a light from here, uh, anything that you need, right at your fingertips. We love our pockets, so of course we had to add one more. So your stuff sack that the, uh, is attached to the hammock that the koala came in becomes a hidden pocket up here at the top. So you just take something that you want to put in there, and you cinch it up, and it's out of the way, and nobody even knows it's there. Just like the koala, the bug mesh comes in its own stuff sack and it's attached so you don't have to worry about losing it. The best way that we found to put the bug mesh on is to find each area, put your hand all the way through so that you've got the two holes like that. Slide the carabiner of the hammock through to the other side, clip it back on, and then all you have to do is just pull it all the way down. Want to cinch up each side to make sure it stays in place. Then after you've tied off your ridge line just above the tree straps on either side, you go along with the clips and just clip it on. As I mentioned before, if you do want to actually tie off the hammock and stake it down, you can use any one of the tabs along the side. Um, just stake it to the ground and adjust it. 
uh, it is great to keep it from rocking inside, but it's also good, like today, on a windy day, to keep your hammock from blowing in the wind when you're not in it. So we're, here we have our gear under hammock already set up. We have it tied off at each one of the carabiners. Um, as you can see, there's loads of room inside. You can put your jackets and shoes, all that kind of stuff, keeps it elevated off the ground, keeps it away from you in your hammock. And uh, perfect, it also comes again with its own stuff sack that's attached so you don't lose it. When using the quilt as an under quilt, you basically slide these Velcro tabs through the tabs that are on, sewn onto the actual quilt itself and Velcro it back and that keeps it attached on all the, the sides. Um, there's guy lines that were included with the quilt itself. You tie a guy line onto each one of the corners, you loop it through the tab on the other side and tie it up to the carabiner and do the same thing on the other side and that keeps it nice and secure at, at each end. Um, then all there's left to do is to just cinch up the bottom to prevent air from getting in underneath and you've got your under quilt all set up and ready to go. If you want to use the quilt as a cocoon quilt, you just zip it all the way around the hammock without the spreader bars in. All you need to do is just hop in yourself and pull it all the way up over you and then you can make the adjustments to make it comfortable. So you can adjust the top section around your, your head and shoulders to make sure that it's nice and tight. There's adjustment points here in the middle if you want it tighter around the middle. Um, and right now we're just displaying it, we're showing it without the extra panel um, because this is just the regular Koala. Um, but if you want to have more room or if you're using the Koala Max, there is the extra panel that comes that can just zip right on to give you a little bit more space. Here's the Deluxe Tarp. Like everything else with Koala, we want to give you options and let you use this your way. This tarp is reflective on one side and not reflective on the other. Again, put the reflective side out if you want to ward off the heat rays. Put the reflective side in if you want to keep the heat in towards you. A um, couple of different ways you can hang this. If you want to use a standard traditional ridge line, there are loops all the way down that you can put the string through, the ridge line through, and you can hang it up normally. Or what we've done here is used the new self-tightening toggles that we've got on here. You just slide it underneath and put it back through the top. You tie it off on either side as we've done here. And then once it's tied, all you need to do is adjust it to get it to the right height. The last thing you need to do to enjoy your tarp is to make sure all the sides are all guyed out. The self-tightening buckles are on, on the corners as well. So that way, if you need to make slight adjustments, especially in the middle of the night, it's easy enough to do to get a nice tight tarp. Um, that's it guys. We appreciate you uh, watching the video and looking at the setup for the new Koala V2. Can't wait to get it into your hands and we'd love to see some pictures of the Koala all over the world in all your adventures. Until then, see you later.